Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, December 30th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to uh, the full technical analysis, our signal service, and our online trades. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we continue to depreciate here in the US dollar index. If we manage to take out these uh, previous lows of uh, 89.62, uh, then we are going to go significantly lower. And at this point, I think that we are going to break that um, support level. We have been basically pulling, uh, rallying up towards the 20 exponential uh, uh, breakdown and then rally, breakdown, rally, and so on and so on. We're getting we're a little bit overstretched in the bottom. We're for, and if you look at the RSI, we're at 34 at this point. So we're just above uh, being oversold. But other technical indicators are looking still very bearish. So expect this to go lower, especially now we're at least going to go to these previous lows and then probably have a pullback. But that is expected at this point. And of course, that will have... Um, effect on, for example, oil, if it have effect on gold, on indices, and so on. If the US dollar becomes cheaper, then of course it becomes uh, also cheaper to buy other things, and therefore demand for those, pro those commodities and indices will also go up, and therefore prices will also increase. So let's look at oil. So we are trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. We're trading at the 48.06 at this current stage. If you look at technical indicators, they are actually turning around. So we may see this fall towards the 20 exponential moving average and then rally again. The target here is $50. And uh, we may get to that place within probably a few weeks. Probably not uh, this week. I would be very surprised. I think that we're going to pull back towards the 20 and then get a rally towards the 50. And then after that, we may see a major pullback uh, when when we get to 50 or 51, uh, something like that. But at this point, it is not a very good, I mean, the good commodity to start trading because we're basically in the middle of nowhere. We are not close to that we are a little bit above the 20 exponential we need to pull back like here in order to buy into this and if you want to sell it i would not start selling it until we get towards the 50 51 level and then uh, seeing this turn around in a lower time frame if you look at the technical indicators you can see that the rsi is flat cci is bearish the stochastic is flat and the uh, MACD is uh, below the signal line, and it, it basically means that we are going to go a little bit lower. So I'm staying away from this until we basically pull back a little bit or rally towards the 50 moving average. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we broke down all the way down to the 200 moving average, which was expected. And then since then, we basically started rallying at this point i am i i'm not very certain that we are going to rally all the way back towards these previous highs um usually if, what happens is that people jump in to buy like i did and uh, most of the traders are uh, patreon and we did actually a really good trade and we traded started trading here buying and then we basically sold it when we got to these levels here and the reason for that is because we're running into these previous lows, first of all, and this tends to pull back before it goes significantly higher. So I would not be surprised if we had a, a quite a big pullback tomorrow's session and then rally after that. Um, that could happen. Uh, otherwise, if we continue rallying, I expect a major resistance here at the 20 exponential moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, they are fairly all over the place. So they're not really helpful at this point. So the RSI is uh, fairly bullish at this point. We are at the 39, so fairly low. 
Uh, Stochastic is turning around. We're still under minus 100, so it's still bearish at this point. So the Stochastic is basically turning around and becoming flat, and the MACD is basically flat at this point. So these technical indicators are not a lot of help. It was fairly expected when it broke all the way down towards the 200 moving average that we're going to be a massive amount of support here, and therefore it will bounce. How far it will bounce, that we'll see basically tomorrow or basically tomorrow's session. But at this point, if we fall back towards the 200 moving average, I will also start buying this again. So let's look at copper. We can see that we have pulled back a little bit. We are getting close to the 20 exponential moving average. And usually when that happens, it is basically a buying opportunity. Uh, 20, uh, 20 and the 50 have been major support for a really long time. This is a market that is fairly, it's fairly overstretched. So you can just see the distance uh, between the 20 and the 50 here and what the distance was uh, pre uh, previously. So copper has rallied significantly. Um, and I'm not going to say it's not going to rally anymore because every time I say it's not going to rally anymore, it just rallies. I said it basically back down here and then it rallied significantly to the upside for some, some uh, reason uh, that I don't really have an explanation for at the moment because usually copper rallies when the world economy is booming. The world economy is not booming. And usually it declines when the world economy is doing fairly badly, which is doing at the moment. And and so this, um, yeah, whether or not we are significantly, um, this is significantly overpriced, probably, uh, but doesn't really matter. Uh, we're trading with the fun, uh, with technical analysis, not based on fundamentals. So. At this point, every single time it basically gets close to the 20 exponential moving average, it's basically a buying opportunity. So let's look at gold. So we are just staying right above the 50 moving average. We rallied a little bit today, but I think in my, my analysis that we are going to trade into this corner before we see a major move to the upside that is probably going to hold and so now it is we're getting close we have tested this uh, trend line uh, resistance line twice here and here yet again and we broke down significantly so if we break down below the 50 or the 20 exponential and 20 exponential moving average that opens the door to the 200 moving average and uh, at that point i think i would be all in basically along at the at that stage I will probably get that chance, maybe. If you look at these technical indicators, they are looking fairly bearish at this point. And considering that most people are jumping over to Bitcoin for a safe haven, yeah, for some very strange reason, uh, probably because they see that it's more, uh, it basically, it's, um, it's growing faster than gold and therefore it's a bigger profit. Um, I think they're taking a big gamble, basically, Bitcoin. Gold has been, um, it has uh, held its value for hundreds and hundreds of years, and it will continue holding its value. So, therefore, people basically use it as a safe haven when things go bad. And at this point, they're not pumping money into gold, they're pumping money into Bitcoin instead. And I think people are going to get burned at, at some stage. But... Back to this, um, if you pull back to the 200 moving average, we'll, this will be massive support and then we'll start rallying again. But I think we will get close to this corner. I don't think we get over here. Probably in some in this area here, we'll start uh, breaking above this trend line. And after that, we are going to go significantly higher. Um, 1900 has proven to be resistant as well. Uh, 1900 is going to be the first uh, target um, when we break out. Then 1950, uh, 2000, 2050, 2100, and beyond that. The goal is going to go significantly higher the next uh, few months. And um, because people are going to, um, uh, countries are going to spend a lot of money getting the world economy back uh, going again, and also the central banks will. Um, basically 
uh, turn on the printing press. So at this point, I'm just looking what is going to happen in this market. As long as this resistance line holds, as long as the support line holds, I'm just going to stick to my guns and uh, believe that we're going to trade into this corner here and then break out to the upside. So let's look at silver. So we have this trend line, wait, there. So this is basically the new support line for silver. We have a lot of resistance above here. Just draw that up. This area here, which was previous resistance, and this is basically what we have to get through. So what will happen here most likely is that we'll fall back towards the support line, rally back towards the support line and rally until we basically break out of this area here, and then we'll head up to 30. If this uh, uh, support line basically breaks, then we have the uh, exponential, 20 exponential right underneath and the 50. So there's a lot of support underneath, but there's also a lot of resistance above. So expect a lot of choppiness. If you look at the technical indicators, they are fairly all over the place. Uh, RSI is flat, CCI is negative, the stochastic is bullish and the MACD is bullish. So, but pullbacks towards this um, uh, support line here are basically buying opportunities. So the closer we get, you can basically see that we have tested it several times recently and we have rallied every, every single time. So let's look at platinum. So we have rallied yet again today. Uh, we had like, quite a big pullback yesterday and then we rallied and now we found some resistance here at roughly uh, 1061 which are basically the top here and also the previous highs over here. If you look at technical indicators, they are looking very bullish at this point. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if we rally, but if you want to enter this trade, a pullback towards the 20 exponential is basically your, your entry point. To enter here, I would never enter it basically here because we could have a ma major pullback and we could also have a pullback all the way down to the 50 moving average. So just keep that in mind. But a pullback towards the 20 and the turnaround here, you can see that in the lower chart, in the four hour chart and the one hour chart when that occurs, and that is basically your entry point with a stop loss right underneath these uh, previous lows. So I favor the upside, but I need a pullback in order to enter this market. So let's look at Pallium. So we had this uh, massive, um, massive jump yesterday, and then it completely collapsed. So um, I don't, I hope nobody bought it here, to be fairly honest. So we, uh, I've been doing this analysis, the same analysis over and over and over again. So, and at this point, it basically works. So it is fairly, impossible to capture this but the people that did capture it are very very lucky because we are trading in uh, major resistance here and major support and that basically means that every single time we get towards this area here you should expect this to be completely sold into and which we saw yesterday and every time we get to the lower part you can expect this to basically be bought into so uh, we ran into major resistance, pulled back all the way down towards uh, below the 50 moving average and so on. So uh, people got crushed here if they basically start buying at this, uh, at this stage. Now we're just trading up and down, just more of the same. So what I'm looking for is a gradual decline to the downside or a gradual, and not very gradual there, but gradual decline, uh, the rise to the upside in order to trade this. To trade when volatility is this extreme, that is just purely nuts. So at this point, stay away from this uh, until we basically get a clear view where this basically is going. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.